guys, it's Belle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would show you guys my everyday makeup routine. So this is like my go-to makeup routine for when I'm taking photos. Um, it's really simple, really bronzy, and yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. So let's get started. First off, I start with a clean face. Um, I think it's really important to have a nice clean canvas. Um, so I cleanse with my Dermalogica Clear Start Breakout Clearing Foaming Wash. Um, I've already cleansed here and I'm just showing you my very clean face. This gets rid of all the oils and prevents breakouts. I love it. Um, and then I go in with the Dermalogica Breakout Clearing Booster. I use this as like a toner and I also find that it looks um, really nice and dewy underneath my makeup. So I just apply that all over my face. I also have a really detailed skin routine um, on my channel if you guys want to go check that out. Um, but this is just like what I do before I do my makeup. Really simple kind of um, quick skin prep. So as you can see, my skin looks super dewy, and yeah, then I also have a discount code for Dermalogica if you guys want to go and shop any of it, it is down below. And then I just go in with my Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream, this is just a moisturiser, just to, I kind of use this as a primer, I guess, um, I don't really use a primer for my go-to makeup look, I really like this because I have dry skin and it really hydrates after I've cleansed, so yeah, just patting it in and I think we are ready. So to start with my makeup, I'm going to use a mix of my two favourite foundations at the moment. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I use the shade 300 and then the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in Syracuse. So these are probably my favourite foundations for the daytime. I find that they look super glowy and still make your skin look like skin. Then I'm just going to take this Morph Foundation Brush um, and just buff it into the skin. I don't know what it's M4... Three, four, nine. I don't know, I'll put all the um, details in the description box below, but I just buff it into the skin. Um, I like kind of using circular light motions just to make it look really natural. And I don't put too much on my eyes, I just use residue because my eyes are really dry and I don't like putting too much product on them. And I'm just tying my hair up because I definitely should have done that before I started my makeup, but I didn't because I forgot. Anyway, moving on, um, I'm just going to buff that into the skin. I like making it look really, really natural. So the more I like press and melt it into the skin, the more it looks natural. And as you can see, it's super nice and glowy. You can still kind of see my freckles. Moving on, I'm just going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and just lightly put that underneath my eyes. I like to let this sit on the skin whilst I do my contour, which is next, because um, I find that when it's a bit warmer, it melts into the skin a bit nicer. So I'm just going to take the Benefit Boing Concealer and use that as like a little contour and use a very stiff stippling brush um, just to buff it into the skin and I like buffing it upwards above my cheekbone so it kind of creates like a nice like natural contour. I find this concealer really easy to use as a contour. It doesn't move too much um, on the foundation, doesn't move your makeup around and it looks natural at the same time. I also put a little bit on my forehead just to um, kind of bring the whole look together. I like putting all like the shades and stuff that I use kind of around my face, if that makes sense. I like using like like my blush on my like nose and like on my eyes, just so it like the whole look looks like it goes together nicely. So I'm just making sure that it all blends in really nicely, and I take my foundation brush just to blend in any remaining lines and then I'm taking my beauty blender this one is damp and I just go in and um, blend out my concealer I love this concealer so much I find it really creamy and I do have dry circles I mean dark circles but my eyes are dry at the same time so it's a good um, concealer for dry eyes so then I just take my beauty blender and pat any um, remaining foundation into the skin just to push push it in and make it look more natural then I'm taking this Becca eye setting powder this is a brightening powder I really like it for setting underneath the eyes because it's not too cakey um, and it also has like a brightening factor to it so it makes you look really awake and it's a very um, silky kind of finish it's really nice and light and I love it for underneath the eyes especially during the daytime and I let it sit for a bit while I do my eyebrows so I'm using the benefit precisely my brow I lost the tip <laughs> um, and I just brush the um, hairs up 
and I lightly fill in my brows. I don't really do too much to my brows because I've never really done much to my brows. Um, I just lightly like shape the bottom of them um, and just run the product through the bottom. Keep brushing it through so that it is blended all nicely and then I like drawing like tiny little hairs around the front just to give it a bit more shape and a bit more fullness around the front of the eyebrow. And I also kind of, I've got like a little gap around the top that I kind of just slightly fill in as well um, and really make sure that everything is blended through with the spoolie. I love this product a lot. And you can see a little difference there. Um, I don't do too much. So then I'm going to use the Gimme Brow and this is just to give them a bit more fullness. And then I go in with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setting Clear Gel and I just brush all the hairs up because I like a natural brow. I don't think I suit like a really sleek sculpted brow. I love the look of them but I don't suit it. So I just set them like that and then I'm going to go ahead and do my other one. All done. So there you go. There are my brows. And then I just go in and set the rest of my face with, with the Benefit Hello Happy Powder Foundation in the shade 6. And I'm just using a random powder brush and I lightly dust this over my face because I don't want to look cakey. I just want to set my foundation in and make it look natural. This is a really nice um, foundation that um, you can use really light handedly or you can add um, like colour and coverage on with. Now moving on I'm going to take my MAC Gimme Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm using this as a bronzer with a random brush that I've had for a while and I just run this all over my cheeks, um, on my forehead, over my nose and I love this bronzer so much. I've been using this for years and everyone always asks me which ones I use and it is this one. So um, yeah, I just run that all over. I find this is a really nice warm shade. I am naturally yellow toned so I find that this is a great colour for me and always makes me look nice and healthy and tanned. Um, moving on, I'm going to take the Benefit Hula Bronzer and just use um, a really, oh my brush, that was not a good brush for it. I'm just going to use the powder foundation um, brush that I used before and just lightly um, contour my cheeks. Now this is just a, like a little bit extra definition. I'm just being picky here because I like my cheekbones being like absolutely popping. Um, and that just gives it a little bit more definition as you can see and I'm nice and snatched. Moving on, I just blend it all out. I love making sure that everything is nice and blended. And I'm going to use this NARS blush in the shade Luster on this Zoeva um, cheek brush and I have been using this brush blush for so long. Um, it has a really lovely glow to it. It's nice and coral and also has a like a sheen to it so it makes you look really glowy which is like all I'm about as you will see in this tutorial I add glow over glow over glow um, but I've been using this combo for so long and everyone always gives me compliments on it so yeah if you guys are looking for a glowy look this these products are phenomenal so as you can see the blush is so so beautiful it's not too much but it is nice and glowy then I take the MAC Gold Deposit, um, so this is meant to be a highlighter, it looks lovely on darker skin tones but I use it as like an extra kind of glow, um, really lightly on top of my blush just to give me a bit more oomph um, and it looks really nice like in the light and makes you look really healthy as well. I love this so much and then I just take my beauty blender and just um, use the residue from my concealer before just to carve out my cheekbones and yeah I'm gonna move on to my eyes now. So I do have lash extensions and these are done by Jade from Lash Artistry by Jade. She's beautiful and so talented and then I'm gonna move on to this Tarte palette. I use the light shade um, just to lightly set over my eyes to make sure that my shadows that I'm gonna put on um, after this do not move at all and any like concealer or foundation that I put on before just so they don't crease. And then I'm going to take my bronzer um, on this Zoeva eyeshadow brush just to use it as my transition shade. I like using the same shades all over my face um, just so the whole look looks like, I don't know, I think it's like a monochromatic kind of look I guess. Um, and yeah, I just run this over my eye as my transition shade. It's a really lovely warm um, shade for your eyeballs. So I just blend it out, then I'm taking the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette and I'm going to use the top middle shade which is a really nice 
warm orange. I really love using warm colors on my eyes because they do have green in them and when I use the warmer shades um, it brings out the green. So I just put this um, a little bit closer to the crease of my eye just to give my eye a bit more color. Um, I'm no makeup artist guys like I just like I just like makeup so I thought I'd show you this don't come for me about my blending or anything like that this is just what I do um, and as you can see it's a really nice flush and then I'm going to take the um, really darker kind of shade and just put it on the outer corners of my eyes just to give it a bit more definition and I'm going to take the same middle shade and just run it underneath my eye on this really cute the Weaver brush, I've been using this brush for ages and it's perfect for getting underneath your eyes. I will link all the details um, below if you guys want to go and check them out as well. And I'm just going to take the red shade out of that palette and put it on the outer corners of my eyes and blend it all out. Blending is so important just so everything's seamless. And then this is my favorite thing. This brush is perfect for doing this. So I take this little brush and um, like use it to give my eyes a bit more detail on the outer corner um, just so they look a bit more defined so I use it with a dark shadow and just really really lightly um, outline my eyes so it's like a mini I don't know it's kind of like an eyeliner but it's perfect for the daytime because it's not so harsh um, and I just use it really lightly and blend it all out so it's nice and seamless and yeah then I'm moving on and I'm going to take this Urban Decay Single shadow, shadow in the shade Baked. This is the shadow that I wear on my eyes all the time. Um, I'm just going to lightly put it on my eyelid and I don't want this to look like a cut crease or anything. I just want this to look really natural and um, just like glowy. So I put it really lightly on my eyes and then I blend it out with the same blending brush I was using before just to give my eyes like a nice like sheen on the lid. Um, it's not too much for daytime and I find that it also stands out really nicely in photos so this is a great shadow and also a really good good gold eyeshadow um, if you guys are looking for one then I move on to highlighting my eyes so I'm going to use the MAC soft and gentle highlight I um, kind of go in between this and the Becca cosmetics champagne pop and opal highlights um, but today I'm using the soft and gentle, so I put it on my inner corners, my eyebrows, my nose, and then I also put it on my cupid's bow, which is one of my favorite things to do. I find that it makes your lips look so beautiful. And then I'm just taking this Zoeva highlight brush and running the highlight over the top of my cheekbones. Just where the light catches is where I like to focus my highlight and the product, and I just blend it out really nicely as well after that, and I love the way this looks. Moving on, I'm going to take my eyeliner now. So this is the Stila Waterproof Eyeliner. This is like just a black shade and I like doing the eyeliner only on the outside of my eyes. I don't bring it in to line the inner and um, inner corners and the middle of my eyes. I just do it on the ends. So I just flick out the edge of my eyeliner and then I join it in to like the middle end of my eye um, and I like really gradually flick it out and bring it in it's like a really gradual process you can see it here I kind of like outline and then I'll fill it in and then drag it out afterwards I don't know if that explains it but you guys always ask me how I do my eyeliner so I thought I would show you um, I love eyeliner so much I find that it really accentuates my eyes and makes them nice and cat eye then I'm just gonna do what I did before with a darker shadow just to join my liner and my bottom eyelid together just so that there are no gaps so I use the darker shadow out of that Huda Beauty palette and just really 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 lightly um, join my corners of my eyes together and as you can see this is what it looks like nice and sharp but still subtle and yeah moving on I'm just gonna take this brown um, eyeliner and just tight line the top of my eyelid I like doing this just so it gets rid of any gaps that I have at the top um, of my lid and then I'm just going to take my spoolie and brush through my eyelash extensions and get rid of any shadow that has fallen on them since doing my makeup. So then I move on and use this CoverGirl mascara. I'm not sure exactly which one this is called, but I just use this to um, lightly cover the bottom eyelashes. Um, I don't like making them too dark, so I'll then go in with my spoolie and just run that through the lashes just to get rid of any like clumps um, and make them look a bit more soft 
And then lastly, I'm going to move on to my lips. So I'm going to take the MAC Subculture Liner and just lightly um, outline my lips. This is a really nice natural liner and I find that it's pretty close to the natural shade of my lips. And I overdraw slightly just to make them look a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to use the Urban Decay Staff Naked Lipstick. Um, I think this is discontinued, so I went and moved on to the Fenty, <laughs> the Fenty um, Lip Stunner Lip Paint in the shade, I think it's Untouched, but I'll double check that for you guys, and I just pop this on, this is one of my favourite lipsticks, I think it's so beautiful. Sometimes I'll use a gloss bomb, but today I'm just going to stay matte. And then, this is my last trick, so I um, use my spoolie just to get rid of the foundation around my freckles, um, just to make them stand out a bit more and make my skin look a bit more natural. And as you can see, it's really brought them out. And then I just pat the foundation that I've lifted just to make sure that there is none sticking out or cakey or anything like that. And yeah, this is almost my look done. Then I just double check that everything is on point and exactly how I need it to be. Um, and I'll go in and set with this Morphe Hydrating Mist. So this is just like a glowy kind of... Um, setting spray and I just fan that in and make it nice and dry. This smells so nice as well if you guys are looking for a setting spray this is so bomb and yeah this is my makeup look done guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you really enjoyed seeing my everyday makeup routine. This is definitely something that I do in all my Instagram photos um, for when I'm not taking photos it's not this hectic but you guys always see this one so I thought I would show you exactly what I do and yeah I hope you really enjoyed this look don't forget to let me know what you thought of the video leave a little comment and give me a thumbs up don't forget to also subscribe to my channel and check out my other socials as well if you are keen and I'll see you in my next video bye